All right, straight ahead, we'll get to this lightweight bout between Cody Garbrandt and Rafael Asuncao. Well, he has spent the bulk of his UFC career in Bantamweight contention. Here is the Brazilian Rafael Assuncao now training out of his own gym in the Atlanta, Georgia area. He has turned back a lot of high-level UFC fighters, of course, most notably TJ Dillashaw back in 2013 in what was a fight of the night in Brazil. Rematch with Dillashaw didn't go his way, but as has been the case throughout his career, Rafael Assuncao, as he makes this walk tonight, Joe, remains on the cusp of Bantamweight title contention. This guy is a very very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. With nine career wins by knockout, seven in the first round, here's the former UFC bantamweight champion, Cody No Love Garbrandt. He was 25 years old when he was strapped with that UFC title, and Garbrandt still going strong here in this top five. Really a lot of plus skills in every area of mixed martial arts. Cody Garbrandt making the walk once again. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. The American is 26. The Brazilian is 35. Garbrandt is three inches taller. A Sun Sal will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A mixed martial artist and a professional record now. 27 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California. Cody no love And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go, And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by his sunset. Gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He needs a high one. Finds his range with the jab. A Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. Just out of range with that punch attempt there, Joe. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Look at this reversal. And now he's working from side control. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Garbrandt. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Nice job to avoid the clinch. Garbrandt gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. And another kick. That oh. one here to start. Oh. Oh. That's a big punch from the clinch. Back to the feet. He goes in and secures the takedown. He's got a half guard here. Head kick. 
Oh, he got tagged there. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, good kick. How about that shin? Back to the inside leg kick. So Garbrandt gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Another takedown attempt here. Got a nice shot there. Nothing telegraphed about it. So he lands another takedown. They're starting to really pile up here, and his opponent can't see the entry. So heady stuff here with the takedowns. We'll see if he can execute here now on the ground. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Just missed with that right hand. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Look for him to try to set up another takedown here. Excellent feint with the kick. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Both fighters throwing heat now. Hook to the head there by a sunset. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. There it is. And he reverses position. And a nice kick. Back up to his feet again. Oh, a nice straight there by a sunset. That was a decent leg kick. Looking to avoid that left hand. Straight right, he misses. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Man, another takedown. Scoring a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Cody Garber. Knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Been here before. It's okay. We just got caught. I need this. Here's a look at some of the action here. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. And let's go to a different angle. Brittany Palmer is in the building. All right, round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Nice punch. The Sun's house lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swell. Nice jab by Cody. Pretty strong leg kick there, Joe, by a Sun Sal. Nice punch by Cole. Good takedown defense. Trying to take the back here.
Sun Sao gets double underhooks now. Muay Thai plump. Garbrandt gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice knee. Oh, big knee. Oh. This could be oh, it. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh good left, left hand. Big left hand. Look at this. Take down. Elbow to the body. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Three minutes to go in round two. Half guard is still an excellent position for the top man to do some ground and pound. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. Under three minutes now to go in round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Exactly. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Tags him with the left hand. Just reached the midway point of the fight. The kick lands. The Sun Sao gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. How about that shin? Working on a single leg here. So he lands another takedown here. Really continuing to pile up these takedowns at will throughout this round. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Posture's up. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good right hand by Cody. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Another shot. Look at that beautiful takedown by Cody. Well timed. Nice reversal here into half guard. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Garvin. He's got a guillotine. Looks like a tight guillotine here. Looks fairly close. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This choke is getting... That's a wrap, folks. will do it! He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at four minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. Cody!